Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about the parallel lines, okay? How their equations are, and then uh, we, will, we will find some of the lines that is parallel to given line. All right. So, first of all, let's see these two lines. So, y equals to 1 half x plus 3, and then y equals to 1 half x minus 1. What is same in these two lines? You're right. In both of the cases, the m, the slope, is one half and one half. The slopes are equal. Now let's see how their graph uh, differ to each other. Okay. So here, slope is uh, one half. That is rise over run, right? And then b is three. So you start from the point three for y, and then use this rise 1 and then run 2. That will be run 2, 1, 2, and then rise 1. So this is that line, right? This is that line. So it is y equals to 1 half x plus 3. This is that line. In the second case, here m is 1 half again. That is rise over run. But y intercept or, or the b is negative 1. So it starts from negative 1. B is the starting value, okay, from y-axis. On y-axis, you can always think as B as the starting value. So it is negative 1, and then again, rise over run. So rise is 1 unit, and then run is 2 units. So that will be that point. You can do rise and then run, or the first run and then rise. It's the same thing. You'll get the same graph. So if you graph this line, you will get that these two lines are parallel to each other, okay? You will see the two lines are parallel to each other, okay? So, if two equations have the same slope, then their graphs are parallel to each other. So, uh, if two lines have same slope, then they are are parallel to each other. So if a question says that, hey, this line is parallel to the, this line, then what you look, you should look their uh, slope. The slope must be parallel. Okay, let's see this example. Find a line through the point 1, 1, and that must be, the line that you want to find must be parallel to x minus 3y equals to 5. Okay, so this line is given, but this line is not the one that you want to find. You want to find the line that is parallel to this, meaning that the slope of the line must be equal to the slope of this line. So first of all, you need to find the slope of the given line. Let's do that, okay? So you have x minus 3y equals to 5, and you want to solve for y. Uh, so for this, you subtract x from both sides, okay? Then, then what do you get? You cancel that x and x, right? And then 3y will be, negative 3y will be negative x and then plus 5. Then what? Then you divide by negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. What do you get? You get y equals to, because you cancel that, negative and negative will cancel again. One third x minus, that will be minus 5 third. So that's the equation of this given line in slope intercept form. So what is the slope here? So the slope m will be one third. So the slope of this line is one third. So slope of the line that is parallel to this will be one third again. Okay. So what is the equation of the of the line that you want to find? The equation of the line you want to find will have y equals to one third x because the slope will be equal, and you will see different number here you will see different number and you will find out that number okay so how do you find that so the line is line is y equals to one third x correct and then we want to find that value we don't know what is that but we'll find that let's assume that that is k so the basic idea here is whenever two lines are parallel then the y equals to mx must be same in both cases because the slopes are equal only that will be differ by the last number and then to find out the last number we assume that as k and then since that line passed through 1 1 then you will solve for k okay so pass through 1 1 
right? So you just plug in x equals to 1, y equals to 1. You'll get 1 equals to 1 third times 1 plus k. So what do you get? You get, uh, this is, uh, so 1 equals to 1 third times 1 will be 1 third. So let me write that too. 1 equals to 1 third plus k. Now you want to solve for k. You subtract 1 third. So what do you get? So that will cancel. 1 minus 1 third will be 2 third. So basically you got k equals to 2 third. Okay. Now what is the line then? You just plug in here. Plug back y equals to one third x plus two third so that is the equation of the line that is parallel to this because the slope is one third and that pass through one one so the basic idea is if you want to find a line that pass through a point and that is parallel to the given line first of all you need to find the slope of the given line and then for the line you want to find that has the same slope and you write y equals to that slope times x plus a constant k and you plug in that point to find out k and then plug back to get the final equation okay so similar to the parallel lines you will see some relationship between the slopes if two lines are perpendicular right do you remember that if two lines are parallel what happens to their slope the slopes are equal okay but what happens if two lines are perpendicular let's see let's graph these two uh, equations okay here slope m is 2 that is 2 over 1 so rise over run and then b is 3 so you start from y intercept as 3 and then you do rise over run so rise is 2 1 2 so rise is 2 and then run is 1 so this is one line did you see that? And then let's find out, let's uh, let's grab the second equation. So slope is negative one half, that is rise over run. So rise is negative one, meaning that you go down, one unit down uh, from, uh, and then and what is B? Let's find out B also, B is one. So B is one, means this is the Y intercept, right? And then you go down one unit, and then run two units. So this is one point that is the y intercept that is b and the other point is that one right so down one unit and then run two units so if you look at these lines so see these two lines are perpendicular okay so what is the relationship between the slopes here the first line has slope 2 and the second line has slope negative one half meaning that the, sl the slope of the second line is negative of the reciprocal of the first line so negative of the reciprocal of the first line so in other words if two lines are perpendicular to each other the slope of the one is negative of the reciprocal of the other okay so if two lines are perpendicular this is the sign of the symbol for the perpendicular then slope of one is negative of reciprocal of the other okay let's take one example okay so one line will be given to you you will have to find the line that is perpendicular to the given line okay so here in this example a line is given as x minus 3y equals to 5 and you want to find the line that is perpendicular to this one and then that pass through the point 1 1 okay let's do the uh, this problem so first of all what is the slope of this line so to find out the slope of the line you need to solve for y how do you solve for y you just subtract x you will get negative 3y equals to negative x plus 5 then divide by negative 3 right so if you divide by negative 3 what do you get you will get y equals to 1 third x correct and then minus 5 third now this is the given line what is the slope of this line so slope of this line is slope is 1 third but you want to find a line that is perpendicular to this line so can you tell me what is the slope of perpendicular line 
slope of perpendicular line that you want to find is negative of the reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of one third? That is just three, right? So this is the slope of the line that is perpendicular to this line, okay? Or that line, that's the same line. Now, so the slope, we know the slope. So what is the equation of the line then? So equation of the line will be, you can write y equals to mx negative 3x you can add plus b or plus k it doesn't matter okay plus b now you want to find out b how do i find b since it passed through the point one one you just plug in that point one one there you will get one equals to negative three times one plus b okay now how much is that one equals to negative three plus b you want to solve for solve for b so how do i solve for b you add three on both sides so you got b equals to 4, right? So let me write it here, b equals to 4. So what is the line then? The, the equation is y equals to negative 3x plus 4. This is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the given line. Okay, if you look at the slope of these two lines, so slope is 1 third here, slope is negative 3 there. Okay, so there are, uh, so this value is the in, uh, the negative of the reciprocal of this negative uh, this positive one third all right guys thank you